हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू बीटेक फार्स्ट इयर फिजिक्स कोर्स आई एम प्रोफेसर सोमदीप्त पाल वर्किंग इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बेसिक साइंस एंड ह्यूमैनिटीज ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड मैनेजमेंट कोलकाता नाउ इन दिस कोर्स आई शैल डिस्कस भेक्टर्स नाउ इन भेक्टर्स वी विल स्टार्ट उथ दिस टपिक्स so these are some prerequisite topics we will discuss before discussing the main vector calculus part okay so let's revisit the terms scalar and vectors so the scalar is a quantity that has only magnitude no direction right and vector is a quantity that has both magnitude and direction that you know now the examples of scalar quantities are like length area volume speed mass density of material temperature pressure energy entropy work power etc now the examples of vector quantities are like displacement velocity acceleration momentum force electric field magnetic field etc now let's see different types of vectors and here i will only tell you different types of vectors and what are the different definitions of those that only i will tell here so first is zero vector zero vector is basically a vector whose magnitude is zero and the starting point of the vector coincides with the terminal point okay so suppose ab is a vector so the initial point a and the final point b is same then it becomes the zero vector then unit vector a vector which has a magnitude of unit length that is called the unit vector now rectangular unit vectors so the set of unit vectors those have the direction of the positive x y and z axis of a three dimensional rectangular coordinate system and they are denoted by i j k so the unit vectors along x axis y axis and z axis that we actually tell i cap j cap and k cap respectively those are basically the rectangular unit vectors okay then position vector so position vector simply denotes the position or location of a point in a three dimensional cartesian system with respect to the reference point so suppose uh, this is a cartesian coordinate and this is one particular point and this particular point if we connect from the origin then this actually gives us the position vector okay and here this is z if we, this is z axis then this is k cap this is y axis so this will be j cap and this is x axis so this will be i cap so these are the rectangular unit vectors now co initial vectors the vectors which have the same starting point are called co initial vectors okay then like and unlike vectors so the vectors having same direction are known as like vectors okay so the vectors which have same direction that are like vectors but the vectors having the opposite direction with respect to each other are called the unlike vectors okay then coplanar vectors so three or more vectors lying in the same plane or parallel to the same plane are known as coplanar vectors okay so suppose we have a plane and there are different vectors so these vectors is parallel to this plane 
also this vector is parallel to this plane so these two vectors uh, i can tell they are coplanar okay so suppose this is a uh, plane that i was talking about and suppose we have a vector like this and another vector is like this and both are parallel to this plane then these two vectors are called the coplanar vectors then collinear vectors the vectors which lie along the same line or parallel lines are known to be collinear vectors they are also known as parallel vectors okay then equal vectors two or more vectors are said to be equal when their magnitude is equal and also their direction is same then displacement vector so if a point is displaced from a position a to b then the displacement ab actually represented by this ab vector which is known as displacement vector okay then negative of a vector if two vectors are the same in magnitude but exactly opposite in the direction then both the vectors are negative of each other okay so these are different type of vectors and their definitions that you have to remember okay so you have already read all those things so only we are revisiting the uh, terms different terms related to vectors to understand the vector calculus later on now let's understand what is scalar field and vector field so before uh, discussing scalar field and vector fields let's understand what is field so the field is a physical quantity which is assigned to every point in space okay so this is a quantity which can be assigned at every point in space so more specifically we can, we can tell this is space time okay so if a field is independent of time then it is called the stationary or steady state field now the field actually are two types scalar field and vector fields so scalar field can be defined like this so it is a quantity which smoothly assign can be assigned to each point of a certain region of space is called a scalar field so suppose you have a field and you can assign it to each point of a certain region of space then it is called the scalar field so it has only the magnitude okay it does not have the direction so that's why it is called the scalar field so in a space at different different point it can have different values okay so the examples are time temperature volume density mass energy all those uh, parameters now we can write the scalar field like phi xz okay so uh, phi xz we can it can be like this suppose x cube y z okay so it can be x square y z square so anything can be possible okay so this is the function of x y and z point means at different points the value will value of the scalar field will be different okay uh, now suppose we have uh, spherical uh, surface so this scalar field actually form a surface okay so we have spherical surface means from the center at each and every point on the spherical surface the value of the scalar field is same right so since the scalar field has a definite value at each point in space it is independent of the coordinate that means suppose we have uh, coordinate if we do the coordinate transformation suppose you have a coordinate means x it is dependent on x y z now you can have different coordinate system their scalar field will be function of x prime y prime z prime okay so in that case the form of the scalar field can be 
different but the value will be same that at any point okay then vector field so vector field is a function which has both magnitude and direction in space and actually it can vary at different space points means at different space points the value of the uh, vector field will be different even the direction can be different okay so the examples of vector fields like electric fields magnetic fields gravitational fields etc so today i am ending here in the next class we will revisit the dot product cross product and triple products okay thank you